So after finding out that I actually wanted to be a bass player and abandoned all of my guitar interest and all that, not all of it, but the fact that I really wanted to be a guitar player uh, after I threw that out, I really started getting into bass music. And my dad would mostly show it to me. So I would listen to a lot of Primus. If you show me about any Primus song, I will know it. And uh, I've listened to every album multiple times. Suck on this, Brown Album, Frizzle Fry, all of it. And just the way Les plays is just so inspiring. And, you know, I ended up picking that up as I was playing bass. But, you know, during this time I didn't have a bass or even a guitar. Well, that was until I was downstairs in my basement looking around. And I found my dad's old acoustic guitar. And I picked that up and I brought that upstairs and I would be playing it. But I wouldn't be always playing it like a guitar. Like, I would play it, like, with finger style and with slap, you know? And that's how I played it for a while. And even though I didn't have a bass, you know, I still had that guitar. And for a while, I, I would play like that. And like, not, not knowing what I was doing. I didn't know any notes. I didn't know how to play in key. didn't know any scales. You know, it was pretty bad. I, I, I really sucked. And uh, eventually, my parents got me lessons. And I, we went to one of the local music stores, and, you know, I took three lessons, and I was a, I was a total idiot. I didn't know what I was doing. I uh, had these lessons, and my teacher, you know, I could tell he was not happy because I didn't memorize my notes, you know. Just, like, how do you play Ode to Joy, you know, simple stuff by Beethoven, and like, really simple Beethoven stuff. And... You know, just learning the main thing, and I I didn't even practice that much. You know, it was just three weeks of, pra of uh, lessons, and, you know, I didn't memorize my few notes, and of course he wasn't going to be happy about it, because, you know, how would you feel if you had to get out of your way to teach a kid something, and then, you know, you expect him to go home and, like, at least run through it a little bit so that when he comes back the next week, he would kind of get a taste of what he was doing and know what he was doing. And then, you know, that kid was probably just slacking off and doing nothing. That, that, that's pretty much how he felt. And, you know, now looking at it, I, I, I'm just like, geez, I was an asshole. But, yeah, I definitely wasn't a good guitarist. But after those lessons, I would have some fun by uh, hopping onto the guitar wall. So, you know, I would take a guitar that I thought looked pretty and just put it on my lap and play it for a little bit. Now... I, I'm happy I didn't didn't have anything recorded, and oh gee, like I was terrible, and I I can just imagine all the people kind of hearing me in the background, just kind of snickering, like <laughs> this kid really sucks ass, and yeah, it's pretty embarrassing when you start to think about it, and you know I, I would just hop off that, and then you know I'd actually pick up a jazz bass and. You know, I, I kind of slap a little bit, and one time my teacher walked in. He was like, "Hey, why are you so good at that?" And he would like teach me. He would teach me some notes to play, and you know, I, I started feeling a little bit more confident on the bass. My dad was like, he could tell that I was definitely much more into the bass, and yeah, when going home, I would still play slap and stuff on my guitar, and then for a Christmas, um, I forget how old I was, fifth grade, I think, um, I got my first bass guitar, and I got myself a micro blue GSR M20 bass guitar, it, um, I, I'll be honest with slapping nowadays, you know, I, I don't really, uh, like it as much as my, uh, five string bass that I have now, but, I will say it feels nice. It's a very nice feeling bass. Um, even though all the frets are really close to each other, that's what I really like because I can play like Jaco Pistorius type of stuff. You know, really, and the uh, uh, gauge is really, uh, I think it's like nines, and you know, I can really get my fingers around there quickly. Kind of like if you had piccolo strings on a standard bass. And yeah, I would bring that to my performances. Like, 
when I joined the school band, I would be playing that bass all the time. And for school, I'm not going to be bringing that anymore. I'm probably going to bring my five string because look at this. This isn't exactly the best bass to be performing with, you know, anymore. Well, I will be bringing it when I perform with my band, but yeah, it's it, it's it's got a lot of stuff on us and bringing this around a bunch of uh, nerdy band kids. Mm -mm, I don't think so. And yeah, the, we have cool lights on it. You know, uh, like fuck, I gotta fix this. But yeah. Now after a while of having my first bass. I didn't just listen to Les Claypool, but started getting into other bass musicians, such as uh, Victor Wooten, Marcus Miller. You know, they were very inspiring jazz bassists, and the way they slap bass and how melodic they could play, I really took that into my playing. And, you know, after a while, though, I, uh, just by playing in my bedroom all the time by myself, you know, I really, really wanted to play with other people. So I tried to join my elementary school band, and I'll say that didn't really go out too well, because when I asked to play bass guitar, the band director was just like, no, we don't have music for that, and, you know, I was kind of had my heart shattered there. I was just like, oh, shit, shit, damn it. You know, I didn't really know anybody either to do it, that I could do it with, and after a while, when I saw their concert, I could hear the bass lines playing. I'm like, hey, hey, who the fuck is playing that? Who the hell's playing those bass lines? I look up as a keyboard bass player. I'm just like, you motherfucker. The actual bass. You, you, you don't want to have the actual bass and you'd rather have a fucking keyboard bass? That's bullshit fucking bullshit man you know uh, th I mean maybe he didn't know the frets so you know that I guess you could uh, really cut the guy some slack but still he still pisses me off to this day and I did end up talking to him later on um, when I joined my middle school man but you know he was just like you know I was actually thinking of putting electric bass in there and I was all I'm thinking is like, oh, of course, of course. When I, when I leave, that's when you start thinking about it, motherfucker. Of course, that's when you start thinking of it. And yeah, that 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 was just really frustrating for me, and something that I really was passionate about doing and really excited for it, just didn't happen or come true at all. <laughs> 